Minutes. It's time for our tropical discussion. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Remember, we're here every day of hurricane season, diving in, spending a little bit of extra time talking about what's happening. You can see it on Fox Local. You can see it on Fox26Houston.com and my favorite, the YouTube channel. So if you get a chance, get over there, check it out, and we'll be able to stay informed on what's happening in the tropics. This is kind of my biggest concern right now for the folks here in Southeast Texas. It's not something that's immediate that we're going to be overly uh, panicked about or anything like that, but these waters out in the Gulf are so warm. Some of the warmest waters that we have on records that we've been able to track, and that really goes back to the early 80s when we We've, we're having satellite technology that can really get a consistent and an accurate reading of what's happening in the water. So these these records don't go back as far as some of the meteorological records do. But again, keeping track of these warm waters, this is some of the warmest that we've seen the water. If something were to develop in the Gulf, if something were to come into the Gulf from somewhere else, that is a, a, a perfect situation to really have rapid intensification and to grow into a strong system of some kind. Now I say all that not to try to get anyone scared or worried, but I'm just letting you know what I am keeping in the back of my mind as I continue to watch the Gulf because it is so warm. The great news though is that things have been very quiet in the Gulf. Nothing is trying to form. Nothing is really even trying to form in the Caribbean, but out in the Atlantic we have seen that consistent wave of storms rolling off of the African coast and then getting out here and trying to stay a little bit better organized, becoming a tropical wave, and then eventually developing into a tropical cyclone of some kind. And that's the pattern that we're in the middle of right now. This area, a broad area of low pressure that's been identified by the National Hurricane Center, it's now been identified as Invest 92L. And again, they, they formalize it when they give it that invest, and that way they can start having multiple computer models starting to run on it and just kind of get a little bit more organized. It's not a tropical cyclone yet, but it certainly looks like it's heading that direction. <clears throat> we have the Hurricane Center giving it now a 90% chance that it would become either a tropical depression or a tropical storm over seven days. So it's really getting into an area where things are going to be better for it to develop. It's been struggling with some dry air and it's also been struggling with some of that Saharan dust. The, the dust is not as impactful as it was earlier in August uh, or even earlier parts of September, but you'll notice that it, it doesn't hold this thickness as it gets further off of the, the coast of Africa. These darker oranges here are where it's more solid. See how things thin out once it gets further into the Atlantic? Well, right in this area here where it's even the thinnest is where that Invest 92L is, and so that's kind of what we're keeping a track on. And even behind that, we're continuing to see more storms roll off of the coast. We'll probably have some more tropical waves that are going to need some attention a little bit later on. We're running the Euro model today. Here's that broad area of low pressure. I'm just going to keep the L on there. I'm not going to try to change it to a, a depression uh, symbol or a tropical storm symbol because we just don't know when that's going to happen. But it will be a low pressure system continuing to move through the Atlantic. Notice how far down in the week we're getting now. We're already down to Friday and it does certainly look better organized, but it's still in the Atlantic. Atlantic, not making its way toward the Caribbean. It wants to sort of skirt to the north, and this is good in the fact that it's not having direct impact on some of our eastern coast or eastern portions of the Caribbean islands. It definitely going to be, again, something that if you're in the Dominican Republic or if you're in the Bahamas, this is going to be watched very closely, and certainly the folks in Bermuda are going to be paying attention to it, <clears throat> and so should the east coast of the U.S., but at this point, there's not really any indications that the folks here in the Gulf or the Caribbean need to be extra concerned with it. We have passed officially that peak of hurricane season when we got on the 10th of September. We're going to keep seeing more possibilities for activity, though, and we really thought we were going to have Gabrielle earlier, but we haven't had it yet. So Gabrielle is the next name on the list, and it does look like that Invest 92L is going to be where we're looking at for that. As I mentioned at the beginning here, we're here every day of hurricane season. You got plenty of ways to find that. We'll be able to keep you updated and keep tracking whatever's out there and what will be coming next is what we're primarily focused on here so that we can have uh, plenty of time to kind of break that down just a little bit.